Hello YouTube, uh, I got some bad news about today's video, I, the files are safe, they're still waiting to be edited and put together for the next video, which is going to be the server build, well, not server build, me mounting everything into the server rack that you saw me build in the last video. Unfortunately, one of the hard drives in my main computer, where I do all my editing and modifications and designs and templates and all that is failing. Right now I am currently doing a backup of it to a different drive that is known good. It is one of my brand new drives that's in the system. I have been slowly replacing the drives in here. It is the Western Digital 1 terabyte green drive that I got a couple years ago. About 8 years ago that's giving up it's life. It will be going uh, to be put, well, it's going to be taken out and replaced as soon as I can get the money together. I'll be replacing it with a 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Damn, that hurts. And, uh, well, I'm sad to see it go. It was my first 1 terabyte hard drive. But, as we all know, things eventually break down to the point you can't save them. So, it's going to take about 45 minutes to transfer this section of the drive over. Uh, I have it partitioned into three different sectors, or partitions, or whatever you would like to call it. The real word is partition. Sectors has to deal with something else. But, the western... <clears throat> Sorry, people. Their wet green drive is letters K, I, and M. Right now I'm backing up drive I over to the new drives, and I'll be uh, backing up most likely drive, drive letters M and K over to my NAS. It is premature. I had originally planned on upgrading all the drives in NAS and then backing everything up, but, well, bring this over here so you can see it. It is just in too bad a shape right now. It's hitting really high numbers, in my opinion. This drive, fortunately, which is another one terabyte, it is also Hitachi, is starting to go bad. I should have enough time to get the drives I want for the NAS before I go to back that one up. But this one has finally hit the point where I'm just not secure on it. It threw an error in Windows and it's making a lot of really loud noise. Some, well not right now, but when it's uh, doing at boot up, when it first starts to access the drive, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, if you do not know this, the green drives, the reason they're considered green is because they're supposedly power efficient and the way they achieve that efficiency has to do with uh, the fact that the motor the arm runs on basically parks it the arm so that it can uh, basically not have to run. The As far as I know, the drive still spins, but it uses a lot, well, supposedly a lot less power with that arm being parked and not having to move as fast as it does to be able to access the data. Uh, in my opinion, that puts more wear and tear on it just because... It has to start up and stop, start up and stop. Whereas if it was going non-stop when you turn it on, it would uh, it would wear, but it wouldn't have to be, keep going through a cycling of power. It's the best thing I can liken it to is the engine of a car. A car battery. Like if you have a bad alternator, you're you can run the car. It can run off the battery, but you're basically having to keep start and stop and it can kill the battery permanently. I know that for a fact because I've done it getting my truck back to the house with a dead alternator because I couldn't leave it where it was at. Someone followed me from behind and kept charging my truck's battery with their truck's alternator using jumper cables. But like I said, the drive is pretty much dying. I've known it's been dying for over a year now. It's just been steadily getting worse, and it's finally at the point where I'm going to have to replace it, which will be in about two weeks. Uh, I will be uploading the next YouTube video later today after I get this one fully transferred off. Unfortunately, I don't know how long it's going to take because even though I'm 
seeing transfer speeds of... Oof, get it up. See, this right here is another indication. It's not transferring at full speed. Uh, if you look here, it's higher. And there it goes. It's going full speed again. The reason it's doing that is because when the sectors go bad on a drive... I hope I said the word right. The right word. Uh, it reallocates them to the outside. Uh, imagine a circle, if you will. The way a hard drive spin reads is like similar to a CD. It's in a spiral. And, well, that's the best analogy I can think of. So, when a section of said spiral is damaged, it will know that, and it will reallocate it to a, a section on the outside that is not mapped. It will remap said outside section so that it can still have access to the data. And as you can see, it's going up and down on the speed. Uh, the reason it's going down is because it's having to move the arm to the outer rim of the platters to access the data. And when it starts speeding up, it's going back to where the tracks are supposed to be. So, unfortunately, I don't know how long this transfer is going to take people. Uh, wish me luck and hope I can get all my data off before it dies. See y'all later.